Welcome back to Fuqua Sports. Today we're recapping the second round of playoff games in a college football Super League simulation. We're using our college mod on Access to Football 2024 with updated rosters and playbooks. 24 teams made the playoffs with the 8 division winners getting first round buys. They were seeded 1 through 8 based on their position in the rankings, and the remaining 16 teams received at large bids based on the order in which they finished in the college football playoff rankings. The top 8 teams got to host the bottom 8 teams for the first round of the playoffs, and as we get past the second round of on-campus games and into the quarterfinals, the New Year's Six Bowls will host the rest of the games. So let's remind you of the final college football playoff rankings, Penn State was their only undefeated team with Ohio State, Oregon, Clemson, Iowa, Alabama, Texas, and Boise State, your other division champions, and also getting first round buys. And here's your current playoff bracket after the first round of games between at-large teams. It was a crazy round with the seven worst-seeded teams in the playoffs, upsetting big-time brands such as Georgia, Florida State, Michigan, and USC all on the road. You definitely want to check out how those games went down. And we had our fair share of craziness this week, so without further ado, let's run down the scores from the eight second round games these past couple days. Starting with the circuit flex winner, Boise State, the Broncos put away LSU a week after the Tigers upset Georgia. Boise State was down by 14 points but rallied to lead by as much as 11. LSU outgained Boise State in yards, dominated the time of possession, and also won the turnover battle, so it's kind of perplexing how LSU let Boise State get away from them, especially in the middle parts of the game. This game was not close, Ohio State, the winner of the Midwest Division, dominated Virginia Tech in pretty much every way possible. With 3 minutes left in the second quarter, it appeared to be a defensive slugfest with the score 6-0. But 5 quick scores later, Ohio State went into the break with a 23-14 halftime lead and never looked back. In the third game of the week, NC State beat Iowa in pretty much a field goal battle. Both teams scored 2 touchdowns, but NC State scored the game-winning field goal to push themselves past the winner of the Great Plains Division. This marks the second game in a row that NC State won from a walk-off field goal. The Oregon Ducks, winners of the West Division, advanced past Tennessee after a crucial two-point conversion stop that would have tied the game with 14 seconds left. Oregon was ranked number one for half the season, and their passing attack combined with their smothering defense was simply too much for Tennessee to overcome. Here's a shocker though, Penn State, who is the league's only undefeated team, winner of the Northeast Division, hosted Kansas State and got obliterated. The Wildcats had the ball for a seam duck forever and controlled the pace of the game with 50 rush attempts. And get this, Drew Auer's touchdown interception ratio was 1-7. The Wildcats defense forced 7 turnovers, all of them being interceptions. And how fitting is this? Penn State's last offensive play was an interception in the end zone that was returned for 67 yards, one tackle away from going back for a Wildcat touchdown. Doesn't matter if you're the top seed undefeated, if you throw 7 interceptions, you best believe you're not winning this game. Here's another crazy game, Texas, the Southwest Division champion, survived against Iowa State in the matchup between former Big 12 Conference foes. The two teams combined for 161 plays and 1,174 yards, throwing in an extra combined 19 sacks and 5 turnovers, and yeah, this game got very hectic with the blink of an eye. It literally seemed like either team could win the game at any given moment, and the Longhorns were on the fortunate side of the finish. And in your main event, it was a classic battle of college football blue bloods. The champions of the South Division, the mighty Alabama, took care of Notre Dame, racing out to a 17-0 halftime lead and coasting from there. The defense scored 14 of Alabama's 31 points, which they ultimately didn't need. But imagine if those scores didn't happen, we entered the fourth quarter with a 10-3 score. The overall strategy and emotions in the fourth quarter would have been so much different, and who knows, maybe Notre Dame could have pulled the upset. There's a big mental side of the football, and the Crimson Tide capitalized on it. So looking at the updated bracket, it's sort of a tale of two sides. On one side, the quarterfinal matchups are all chalk, with all four division champions advancing. But on the other side, there were upsets in arguably all of the matchups if you considered LSU a favor over Boise State. The quarterfinals will be contested at the New Year's Six Bowls, and we will have a nice balance between fun, high-powered offensive games, and heavyweight blue blood slugfest. Switching over to this graphic, Ohio State and Texas in the Rose Bowl will be your main event of the quarterfinals, and you can see the rest of the schedule for the finale of this series. Who will crack under the pressure? It's going to be a sprint to the finish in the final week of this simulation. It has certainly been the best three-month ride, and it all culminates on Monday in the national championship game of the AD Team Super League.